I'm telling you, this is a dish I would have at one of my restaurants. It is so exciting. It really is, and you deliver with flavor. It's a grown-up dish, but it's a playful dish, so you should be so proud of yourself. Outstanding job. Thanks so much. Well, we have Elliot and Alice going down the sweet Which path. is exciting. I'm glad that we've got like almost half savory, half sweet. Totally. Yeah. Alice has a lot riding on those little beignets. Mm, and she's clearly trying to really think outside the box. Sometimes, you know, when you come up with those crazy wild concepts, you, get a, you can get a bit distracted and potentially not execute them super well. She's got to really refine it and put it together in a really cool, unique way for us to love it. I like Naomi's idea. She's never cooked beef cheek or used a pressure cooker before, though. Beef cheek, ginger beer, 40 minutes in the pressure cooker. In my mind, I don't see anything going wrong. I think that that's going to give it enough. It's going to have the gelatin in the centre. Fingers crossed. I'm feeling really nervous. I have zero idea at how this is going to taste. All I know is it's definitely not going to taste sweet today. It looks cooked. It also smells wonderful. I'm cutting off a little bit off the side, and it's soft. And I'm quite pleased with it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, you've got it out? Yes. Have you tried it? Yes. What do you think? I think it's quite nice, and it's not salty. Good. Nice and tender? It is quite tender. It's, it's uh, Perfect. Away in my hand. Okay. We've got less than 20 minutes, so what's the plan from here? Uh, so what I need to do is get my pan hot, just yep. sear it off, give it some colour, and then I also need to go and get plates so that I can think about how I'm going to start to plate all of yep. this. Yep. Okay, cool. Yes. What, what is the plan? Like, it's, you know, it's a big hunk of meat. It's quite a big how, cheek. It is. How are you going to make that look? Okay, right. Awesome. Okay, right. Yeah. You've got less than 20 minutes. Cool. I know that most of my elements are good. I just haven't quite finished the tempura yet and I'm a little worried about getting everything done and making it look really nice. How are we looking? Are you on track? Uh, I wanted 10 minutes for plating, but I'm only going to have five, okay. but that's OK. So you use the ginger beer as the batter? Yes, and Great. I've also put some dry ginger on the fish before I batter it up. The main thing for this dish is this tempura, and if it's not perfect, then I'm probably going to be going home today. Don't forget about time for plating. Yes, thank you. Make it nice. Thank Go you. Hannah. Go yes, Hannah. thank you. Crispiest, lightest, fluffiest tempura. Yes, coming up. Five minutes, just five minutes remaining. Come on, guys, you can do it. So I'm putting the donuts into a ginger beer syrup, so this is what's going to flavour them with the ginger flavour. Are you on track, Alice? Yes, five I am. Five minutes to go. Oh, five minutes. Are you happy? Oh, yeah, I'm happy. But I haven't got a lot of time. I wanted 10 minutes to plate, and I didn't know there was only five. So. OK. Hustle, hustle, you can do it. I pull out the plates from the freezer, and I kind of tilt the plate, and it's not moving. So it has set into a gel. So I grab a cookie cutter, and I'm cutting it. And I notice that it's breaking. It didn't work. But I'm still going to use it. I'm going to pop it in a piping bag, and Gel it. I'm definitely worried. The competition's getting a lot more fierce now, and potentially this dish could send me home. Last push, guys. Last minute. Let's go. Make Come on. Count. Come on. 60 seconds left. I've got the granita at the blast chiller. I give it a wee shave again. I put it perfectly over every little element of the dish, making sure I don't spill any onto the bottom of the plate, because I want it to look like a bit of a surprise. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Come on, guys. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it, guys. Move back from your benches. Time's up. Well done. Well done, guys. Nice. I'm really happy with this dish. I'm not sure if it's a winning dish, but I, I'm proud of this dish, and that's all I can hope for today. I don't know how I feel after that cook. I've got all the elements up on the plate. I really did try today. After today, it's going to be top four, and that is so nerve-wracking. Sam, come on up. I'm proud that I got to showcase this dish. I'm hoping I have done enough to make it through to the next round. 
today I have my take on Fijian Kukunda, which is raw fish. So here I've got some cured gurnard with a coconut vinaigrette, a burnt ginger and coriander oil, crispy ginger and a pickled ginger gel. I think this dish shows another side of my cooking ability and a completely different flavour profile. This is to prove my versatility in the competition. I'm really looking forward to it because I just love a good raw fish dish. First impressions regarding your plating, Sam, I gotta say, it's really interesting in a wonderful way. It looks like almost a little ginger nest that you created with that fried ginger. And I love the way that little half onion is cupped with that little ginger gel and that use of the ginger oil. So from what I can see, you definitely harrowed the ingredient of ginger. Certainly very simple and beautiful is the way I describe it. And I like the fact that I can see there's some textural elements to it as well. Firstly, presentation-wise, Sam, I loved how you presented it. Simple and beautiful. It was really inviting. Taste-wise, it's a nice coconda. It's certainly not like a traditional coconda. I like it, however, because I'm such a coconda and ceviche fan, I have eaten so many of them and I have a lot of previous ones that I've eaten to kind of compare it to. And I'm not gonna say that it's the best one that I've ever had. For me personally, I prefer more punchy flavors in it, a bit more acidity coming through, a bit more heat with some more chili, maybe a bit more freshness with fresh herbs. So all in all, I think it's a nice dish. I would have just preferred maybe the fish to be sliced a bit more thinly, so it was kind of a bit easier to eat. But I think it's really lovely how you've taken a traditional dish and put your spin on it. And at the end of the day, you have done a nice job. Sam, the use of ginger is really good. It's throughout the dish. You've used it as a texture, and you also have the gel in there. And as you're eating the dish, like every bite, you're getting that kind of flow of the ginger. The balance of flavors didn't work for me that well. You're way too high on the sugar. A nice dish, but I think you've just lacked on a few little things. The gurnard, it's kind of textually, it wasn't doing it for me. The thick cut of it, and it doesn't have, it hasn't had enough time, whether you're curing it or leaving it in lemon juice or whatever, to give it a great texture. It's quite rough and chewy. Positive elements in the dish. I really like the texture of the crispy ginger. The spice in there is really good. If I was going to give you any advice next time, I would pump up the acidity in the dish. A plus for me with the actual presentation. The dish looked beautiful, looked restaurant quality, and definitely A plus for use of the Harrow ingredient for me. It was really lovely. I'll be echoing the same comments of the rest of the team where acid is your friend and it did let you down on this occasion. It's yummy, but it didn't come all together for you on this dish. Well Thank done. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Sam. I'm feeling kind of mixed today after the feedback. I am really proud of what I've uh, done and presented today. It is a competition and I take everything as it comes and I live in the moment with no regrets. So if this dish sends me home, I will be very proud of it too. Come on up, Ellis. This is at least one of the most fun challenges that I've done. I cooked what I wanted to cook. It looks awesome and yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it's turned out really beautifully. All right, Ellis, tell us, what have you made today? I've made beignets with a Bundaberg ginger beer and ginger sticky syrup, ginger beer pickled plums, and a ginger creme anglaise. Well, you've really gone for the ginger. You must have read the brief. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I was really inspired by ginger beer. I love the flavour and I also love the idea of using the ingredients in ginger beer, especially the yeast, to create a dish. So I've tried to sort of stay very much focused on the ginger beer today. Every time you come up here and you present us a dish, I can just see this Alice in Baking Wonderland brand or Crazy Cake Lady, you know? <laughs> and I've got to admit, when I was at your bench and you described this concept to me, I was like, okay, a bowl of cereal, yes. And I was thinking, is she gonna pull it off? Maybe not. I can't wait to try it because I too was really worried when I heard donuts and a cereal concept. I was like, how are you going to do this? Let's dive in. <gasps> that does look pretty sexy to me.
That's definitely fun. <laughs> I really liked the look of it and I felt a bit like a kid again looking at a bowl of cornflakes with tin peaches and I was going to pour some cream on top of it. Wasn't sure what to expect with the flavour. It's a really fun dish and it actually is really, really yummy. And the ginger flavour, you've really nailed the brief there with the ginger flavour. Like you are absolutely paying homage to ginger. You get it through in all aspects but it's not crazy overpowering. Take my hat off to you. Thank you. Thanks so much. It's awesome. Alice, this is such a playful dish. This is when they let the adults go into the amusement park without the kids because it's so much fun. It's such an enjoyable ride. I'm telling you, this is a dish I would have at one of my restaurants. It is so exciting. It really is. And you deliver with flavor. It's a grown-up dish, but it's a playful dish. So you should be so proud of yourself. Outstanding job. Thanks so much. I love the concept of the dish. I think the flavor profiles for me are really good on the ginger front. As a chef, the only kind of flaw of the dish, it's an easy one, whenever I'm in France or cooking beignets in a kitchen, one of the things that's amazing about them is the texture of the beignet. So a classic accompaniment is usually served on the side. And I think that syrup is so good, but since you've dressed the entire beignet in the syrup, what it's done, it's kind of sogged the outside of it. Whereas if you had the syrup just on part of the beignet, textually, it would have been better. Great job, thanks, Alice. Thanks, Alice, great job. I'm super happy. I've done a really good job today. I'm super proud of it. I'm hoping that it's enough to keep me in. This was by far the most confident cook I've done. It was a really bizarre idea and I executed it well and I had confidence in that idea. So that's really cool. And I think it's taught me a lot today. So I'm happy.